Hi everyone, this is Ray Alina, beauty guide and director with Limelight by Alcone, and today I am going to share with you our limited edition Brush Crush collection, which is retailing for $184, um, and it includes a limited edition makeup bag as well as 15 professional brushes. So um, just to give you a little sneak peek, here is the beautiful makeup bag. It has our uh, company motto, which is be amazing every day um, in it. Who doesn't want to think of that every time they open their makeup bag? Um, and then here's a uh, look at our beautiful 100% vegan cruelty-free brushes. Um, just to tell you guys a little bit about these, um, Beauty Guide, um, she's actually our star director and um, she's a celebrity makeup artist, uh, you might know her, Kathy Aragon, she hand selected these brushes. So we are just so fortunate to have uh, professional made brushes at this uh, cost um, because they're really good quality. Um, the, the hair feels, um, you know, these synthetic fibers feel as soft as a rabbit and, um, you know, they go on um, beautifully on the skin. They really create an HD effect, which works with our professional makeup. So what I wanted to do today was um, share with you um, what each brush is and does. And I've had a lot of people, you know, ask me about them, but say, you know, I don't know about investing in this collection because I don't know that I'll use them all. Well, let me tell you, um, you will as you go along. Um, and even if you if you don't use them all, you know, share them with some friends to get a 40% discount on this set is unbelievable. You'll never beat this price. Um, and we all know Valentine's Day is around the corner. And I certainly would take this over uh, roses and chocolates any day. But uh, with that being said, um, I do know that you know, many of you are looking for just, you know, a handful of uh, brushes to have for practical use. And um, I'm looking forward to um, having those available here in the near future. Um, so I'm just going to share a little bit about each one. Um, our first brush, this is brush number one, and it is the tapered powder brush. And this is beautiful for uh, pressed powder, uh, for loose powder, um, typically what I use it for is for contouring with powder like I did today so you can use this with the perfect bronzer okay brush number two is going to be the all-over powder brush which this is classic uh, you know powder brush your your essential really full uh, thick and full fat, uh, flat profile so um, this goes on really nice and easy for uh, all over the face the third brush is our angle blusher, and this is one of the ones I cannot live without. And if you want multiple uses for this, um, with that angle, it fits perfect on the apple of the cheek, but you can use this to uh, contour as well, or uh, use the flat edge to highlight on top of the cheekbone. Okay, number four is foundation. Um, this is, you know, just one of the many options we have for using foundation. I've shared I've used, you know, my fingertips. I've used um, the Blenderful Sponge, which is my personal favorite. Um, but many people like the classic foundation brush, so we have one. Okay. Number five is the Buffer Brush. And let me tell you, this works wonders. This works wonders for blending. So if you... Um, you know, use the, the botanical foundation or an RCMA foundation. Um, it's great uh, to warm up the product as you go along. It blends really nice, just kind of gets that melting into the skin, but you can also use it for concealers around the eye area. It's really gentle, you guys. Um, I'm so excited about that one. Okay, um, number six is the concealer brush and these are you know a little bit of a glossier texture um, it's got that oval shape so it goes on really nice and silky uh, for the delicate eye area um, you can also get you know around little corners and crevices of the nose um, and you can use it for you know concealer on the eyelid as well okay going into eyeshadow brushes I love the selection that we have um, so there's four main ones. I'm going to go over the differences. So your first one is, um, you know, large shadow brush number seven, and this is perfect for all over color, um, goes from lash line all the way up to the brow bone. Great for, you know, your all over color. 
Um, the next one is called the Dome Blender, and this one's a little bit smaller and denser, and it has that, you know, circular um, round shape to it. So this goes on really nice um, on the lower lid. Then you have the Angled Shadow Brush, which is great for the outer corner um, to do like a nice cut crease, so to get a little bit more um, of that prominent uh, crease look, okay? And the next one is the, um, the Pointed Blender, and I will tell you, I, oh not the Pointed Blender, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Pointed Blender, sorry. <laughs> I am saying the right thing. So this one, um, I would say I use this probably more than anything. Um, for um, you know, getting in the crease and working on like demarcation, um, just having a blended eyeshadow. So I typically don't even uh, put powder on this. I just use this as my blending brush for the eye area. All right, and then lastly, we have kind of more of like our defining brushes, right? So we've got the uh, pointed blender, and this one is perfect for a smoky eye. Um, then you have the um, bold lip brush, which you know just has a little bit more of a. It's actually pretty dense, um, and it's got that beautiful flat shape, so you can really work on like the shape of the lips. I love this for um, our lipsticks that we have in the pans that I kind of carry around with me. Um, in our palette, so it's nice to have a lip brush to apply them. And then we have an angled eyeliner and a brow uh, tamer brush, and they kind of look similar because, oh, let me get it going right. Okay, so they are both angled brushes. Um, your angled eyeliner brush is a little bit denser, and it's great for applying powder liner. Um, whereas this one is a little bit thinner, you can use it with multiple mediums, and it does have the um, the spoolie on the end for you know combing through the brow area as well. And then last but not least is the bent eyeliner brush. I absolutely adore these brushes. It's such a fine uh, point here. So I love to use this with our 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray in a liner to make kind of like a colored liquid liner. Um, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned a little bit about the brushes. Um, I hope some of you are going to take advantage of this awesome deal that we have, but um, I really, really love them. I love working with them. I've been using them all week on myself and on clients, and um, they're fantastic. So uh, look forward to doing more videos, and have a happy Valentine's Day.